this time the question is to find all the possible combinations of a given string this is a very very important question from interview point of view so let's see so if i am given a b c and d so this is a string i have got four characters so i have to find all the possible combinations so what are all possible combinations it means i can select one of them i can select two i can select three i can select four so let combinations can be a it can be a and b i can choose then it can be a comma c a and d i can choose something like three size of three also b c and d then c d a d a and b so and like four all the four so these are the different combinations that are possible so total 2 to the power of 4 is equal to 16 combinations are possible for it so now the thing is how we will solve it so i have to print all the possible combinations there are 16 possible combinations so how to write them what we can do so that's our question okay so we are given a question to print all the possible combinations what can we do again so what i use here is so we can use something like recursion so basically what happens is my approach is that because so if it is a length four string so let's say a b c and d and if i represent it something like a binary number okay so four digit binary number okay so what happens so i write all the possible cases 0001 then 0010001010100 so all the dif uh, different combinations okay something like this so it will be basically what it will be so after this so we can have 111 okay and then 1000 etc till 1111 so this are the all four digit binary numbers and it will be like here i can have two things 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 it can be there in the set or it cannot be there so this means this here there is two possibilities a can be present a cannot be present in the set b can be present or not so there are two to the power of four combinations okay so how to print this thing so one very simple approach is what so if i have let's say this is the number it means a is not present b is not present but c is present so my set is just c here because third and fourth digit both are one so it is c and d here it is b c and d and here all are present so it's a b c and d so this is the case so if i want to write so if i know that okay my string is has n it is of length n so what can we say then i can know that okay it has 2 to the power of n letters there n combinations and i can iterate from for i is equal to 0 i is less than 2 to the power of n i plus plus so i will iterate through all of them then what will i do is i will say that okay let's say there is a string okay so there will be four bit number so i will say that it will be equal to bit representation of i and so i will get n bit number or n bit array and whichever bit is on so i will print the corresponding corresponding letter in the string but a better way can be we can use recursion so what will happen using recursion there is a solution here so what i do is that this is very simple combination i am given the int a 
int k and int n so what happens now so initially a will be all zeros and what i have is b is the letter so a b c and d okay so this is the case and now what happens so what i do is that void combination so a is initially all zero and then i just do a kind of recursion so let's see this code okay so i will delete all these and let's see what is happening so what happens now is that let's say i have the 0 0 0 0 and abc it is the string so now what i do is that i am initially i call this function with combination and a initially k will be what 1 and length is 4 so this is called now what will happen now is k equal to n no so i will come here so i will put a of 0 is equal to 0 i will call combination which i write like this i will call with a then it was 1 now i will k plus 1 is 2 and n is 4 so it is called now with this parameter so what happens it again it is get called k is not equal to n because 2 is not equal to 4 we come now again i do now what is k k is 2 so i put a of so this was a of 1 so now i do a of 2 is equal to 0 and i now call c a k plus 1 is 3 comma 4 so now also k is equal to 3 is not equal to 4 so what happens again a of 3 is equal to 0 and i call combination a 4 comma 4 so it goes there now what happens it comes here k is equal to n so what i do i do a 4 is equal to 0 and print a comma n so now let's see what is this print so print a comma n so i have sum is equal to 0 for i is equal to 1 i is less than equal to n so i just print what i do if a i is some bit is on so i will print that corresponding b i and i do sum plus plus so that i find that is there none of the elements are chosen and if so sum is zero i print that it is a null set but if any one of them is present the sum will be not greater than zero i print that particular b i so what happens here because all a was 0 0 so it sum is zero nothing was printed so correspondingly it prints null set because this forms a part of the subset next what happens this is done so it returns and it goes to this level where we called c a comma 3 comma 4 so it was here a 3 0 it called this so now it makes a 3 is equal to 1 so i make a 3 is equal to 1 and i call again c 4 comma 4 so what will happen now i will go there isn't it so what will happen okay initially before that what will happen is we were at ca4 comma 4 and we did ak is equal to 0 means a4 is 0 i printed then what i made so then i did a4 is equal to 1 so in before this i have to go to this function also i did a4 is equal to 1 and then again print a comma n so now my a is 0 0 0 1 initially it was 0 0 0 0 it is now 0 0 0 0 1 and it goes there so i 0 i 1 2 3 it is not printing anything but for i is equal to 4 it is printing b4 and b4 is what b was a b c d so 4 is this one so it prints a d so initially it printed a null set then it printed a d then it returns from here and then what i was saying so it returns to this place where it made a3 is equal to 0 it called this one now it is making a3 is equal to 
now it is calling combination a 4 comma 4 so now it goes here k is equal to n both are 4 it makes now what so now till now we have let's take a different color so now we have 0 0 1 and then it went there now k is equal to n both are 4 so it makes first a 4 is equal to 0 and then it prints so now what i print now i have 3 is equal to 1 so it prints 0 0 1 0 is there so it prints c next what happens next it again goes and now it was a4 is 0 now it makes a4 is equal to 1 so it becomes 0 0 1 1 and it prints a comma n so now what is printed because both 3 and 4 are 1 it prints 0 0 1 1 so it makes the set c and d so that's what happens here so now this a3 level is also done for both for corresponding a2 is equal to 0 so now it goes and it goes to this level a2 is equal to 0 so this was done it called all the combination and it comes back to now this place okay so we are here now we make 0 1 so this is made now 1 a2 is equal to 1 now it is 1 and now it calls c a 3 comma 4 so now it goes to 3 comma 4 and 3 is not equal to 4 it makes a3 is equal to 0 and it calls so it is again 0 and it calls c a4 comma 4 so now it will go here it is k is equal to 4 it will make a k is equal to 4 and it will print what now b is only printed then it returns back after print it makes a of 4 is equal to 1 so it's 0 1 0 1 it prints it so it becomes what b and d okay and then where it comes back it comes back here now it makes a3 is equal to 1 again so now we have 0 1 1 and it calls c a 4 comma 4 so what will happen now it will go 4 is equal to 4 it will first make a 4 is equal to 0 so this will be the thing and it will print for us b and c will be the set now it again comes here it makes a k is 4 is equal to 1 now we have 0 1 1 1 so what it corresponds to b c and d so this way we do the combination and it prints for us all the values so this is happening for recursion i hope you understand this code and it is very interesting because such a small code and it is printing everything from us for us so thanks a lot and if you like this please subscribe to my youtube channel thank you there you will